Hey folks, JD here, and today we're looking at this. This is the Drocon UDI U31W Navigator. Alright, let's open her up and have a little look inside. Okay, so here we are. This is what she looks like. This looks really quite nice, actually. Looks a lot in its style, like the Parrot Beepop. Uh, it's very sort of curved, working from front to back. There's a nice little 720p camera at the front. It's fixed lens, though, unfortunately. Working up from here, we have the on and off button on the end of this very sort of exaggerated half uh, half curve here. Working up from that we've got these very striking looking uh, markings. Very shocking lime green, same colour as the Navigator and same colour as the UDI writing on it as well. As we work our way towards the back of the quadcopter then we have the battery bay. Uh, obviously that is where the battery fits. Now this battery is a 7.4 volt, 350 milliamp hour. It is a proprietary charger, uh, so therefore this little charger Let's just get this out. Um, oh, is pretty much set up to charge a little bit like this. So you just fit them both into each other and then that is exactly how this battery charges. Now this battery does take 50 minutes to charge and hopefully will give us a five and a half to six and a half minutes of flight out of that. Uh, now if we go back to the quadcopter, as we ended up on the back of the quadcopter where the battery goes, if we work our way underneath we then have the Wi-Fi antenna coming off the bottom. We have an SD card reader here. You do get an SD card with this, a little four gig SD card to ensure you put that in there otherwise you're not going to be able to record any videos uh, when you do take this out to flight. Now working our way from the SD card up across the quadcopter we have these fixed propellers here these fixed propeller arms now these arms obviously we have four of them for the four propellers these ha this has a different type of plastic to it a very lighter looking plastic with little very strong it seems rubber bungs off those the rubber bungs can come off so be careful when you do land her but they do feel really quite rigid and they feel as if they're going to give a bit of support uh, and dampen the landing now the leds of this quadcopter are in the corner here so if i've got any charge in this battery let me just show you if i pop the battery in and then turn her on we should there we go so we've got green leds on the front and red leds on the back there there's also a little blue led on the inside of the sd card right to there as well so if i just turn that off and take this out for a second now there is a little catch on the back of the battery as i'm doing this i may as well show you there's a little catch on the back there so if you want to remove it push the catch down and out comes the battery if we flip this back over, now we have four propellers sat on four 8520 motors and coming off these little motor housings here we have the propeller guards left and right. These are fixed propeller guards. Um, you can't take them off by the look of it. They are actually fixed to the plastic of the motor housing. But then again, it actually gives it a little bit of a nice feel. It does, I, I really have, a, I really do think this does have a, uh, have a parrot feel to it. Now, another thing to note about these propeller guards, if you just look at the propeller guards, I don't know how well you can see this, but the guards are slightly raised, meaning when the quadcopter, if the quadcopter was unfortunate enough to land upside down, then it's the, the propeller guards which would be on the floor and not the tops of the propellers. So that's a nice little move. Uh, so all in all, that is the quadcopter. Now, what about weight? So without the battery, and then we'll weigh it with the battery. Okay, so without the battery, this quadcopter comes in at 61 grams. And then with the battery, this quadcopter comes in at 90 grams. So still a very light little copter. Would be good for those very still summer days. Uh, not so good in any sort of windy environment, not at that particular weight. This does have three speed modes as well, low, high and medium. Uh, you can activate that on the transmitter. We'll look at that in a couple of minutes. So that's the quadcopter. I quite like that. I like the shape of it. I think that looks really quite nice. I hope it's a good flyer. Okay, so let's put that to one side with the battery. Now, Let's look at this transmitter. This transmitter really does feel very professional, looks professional, fits really nice in the hand, has got two palm grips on the back here which are really nicely moulded just for your palms to just sit and just for it to sit inside your palm and feel really nice. Now the analog sticks the same, this does feel very professional in the analog sticks. You are going to get a good bit of control out of this quadcopter using this transmitter. Okay so let's go through some of the Let's go through some of these buttons. So working, starting off at the bottom, we have one key takeoff, one key landing. We've got headless mode, should you want to use it. There is also, on the back, there are two buttons. You have 
uh, high, medium and low speed and you also have trim as well, that's quite strange having it at the back. Now when you do hold it, you do find that your fingers go towards the back like that anyway. So it's actually, having those buttons at the back is actually quite a nice little move, I quite like that. Um, then we have the standard on and off button there. There's a little red status LED here as well and also this particular transmitter does give out various status beeps for when it's on, when it's bound, when there's low battery as well. Now another cool feature of this transmitter, we have two aerials either side here. Now as at this stage, I I don't think yeah I think these aerials are fake I can't see any sort of cables oh no they're not fake there is a cable running up either side of these air uh, either side of these aerials I can just see ever so faintly I don't think you're gonna be able to pick it up but inside here there's a ever so there's a really small blue cable running on the inside of the antenna so I would imagine that these aren't fake antenna these antenna are actually warranted and it is always best to point your antenna at the particular quadcopter just to ensure you get the maximum amount of, of, of reception there now if we look at the top there's a little bit here that says pull now when you pull it look at that you get your own FPV boom built into the transmitter. That's great. This transmitter is very big, but obviously it does take into consideration that you have got an FPV boom built into it as well. Now it is on a spring. You can adjust it for various size phones and it does just click straight back in. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, and it angles as well. Angles forward and angles back and it stays there. I like that a lot. All, a lot of time you see a lot of transmitters that have plug-in FPV booms, they don't feel very good, they feel quite wobbly. This, I think, is going to be a bit of a game changer. I quite like that a lot. So, let's just collapse these back in. That's the transmitter front. Now, the back of the transmitter, you are going to need four AA batteries. Oh. <laughs> Once I get this battery bay off, you're going to need four AA batteries in order to power this transmitter. This transmitter does not allow USB charging, so you are going to ensure that the batteries inside you are shot bought or pre-charged in order for them to work. And that's it. These two buttons at the top, these are fake buttons. They actually serve no purpose whatsoever for this particular quadcopter. Okay, let's put this down to one side. Other things you get in the pack as well. So we looked at the USB charger. You also get four spare propellers. A motor tool for you to help put your propellers on, a little allen key, a screwdriver, and here's the SD card that I spoke of, a little 4 gig SD card and an SD card reader as well. So that is a really good package. I think at this point what I'm going to do to stop myself from forgetting, I'm going to attach this SD card into the back of the quadcopter there because otherwise I'm going to forget it and come the day that we take this out for the flight I'm not going to be able to record anything so let's just pop these away now into this bag okay so another thing I want to look at is the UDI app we have seen it before but I just wanted to go through it one last time and just refresh everybody's memory on it as well now so the UDI app is called Flying C it is available on iOS and on the Android store, but you do also get your QR codes inside your manual. So you can just scan that using your QR reader and it will then automatically open up the store with your app of choice. So you get a few different options. You can look at your media, you can go for, uh, through the help documentation, you can learn the operation of, of the drone, that's very good. You do get a little video at the top here as well, which you can watch. But the bit that we're interested for today is the remote control interface. So once you click that, it does take a couple of seconds and then it launches you then directly into the app so the app itself reminds me a little bit of the DJI Go uh, ever so slightly mind you now what we're going to do is work from the bottom and work our way across the application so starting off at the bottom we have our media so as soon as you've recorded something it'll go inside my gallery there then we have take photo take video once you've clicked that little once you've clicked the little icon next to it click the little circle next to it and your transmitter will then pop up on here should you want to control it via your your smartphone so you have your standard left and right analog sticks you have your pitch and roll uh, trim the bottom left right as well that is another little good thing should you want to control it via this you, you get the option of trim the only option you get of the trim on the transmitter is just that one button at the back Working our way up again, we get the home button, click that, it takes you back to home. You get VR, so should you want to use VR, then you can do. Uh, you also get, this isn't compatible with every quadcopter, but it is compatible with some of them. You do get a flight plan, so you can then just add your quadcopter to that flight plan and it will then just take off and fly around whatever pattern that you decide to draw. You get an emergency stop button. Now I've known this to work with one other UDI quadcopter, I just pushed it and the motors just cut down and the quadcopter fell from the sky. You get your transmitter signal, 
you also get a little settings button here as well in the corner which just goes through trimming and um, and transmission quality as well so transmission quality on here as you may have seen on, on that last screen is 480p so it isn't going to be of great quality but it's going to be enough in order for you to see so that is just a little brief look at the UDI app and some of its functions should you want to use it on this flight so there we are folks this is everything that you get in the pack you have the quadcopter you have the transmitter you have your accessory pack you have your battery your charger as well as your little quick start guide and manual as well so there we are folks I hope you've enjoyed thanks ever so much for watching please join me in the next couple of days when we're going to be taking this guy out and we're going to be taking him to the skies if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying